Hi there! In this video, I'll be going over what I think are the top 10 Seiko watches. For those of you who may be a bit new to watches throughout recent years, Seiko is a brand that has positioned itself as one of the most recognized brands on the market due to its refusal to pursue cheap frills in favor of just producing an excellent product for the money. Let's dive in, beginning from number 10. Starting at number 10, the SRPD51. When Seiko retired the SKX line in 2019, they quickly followed up with an updated Seiko 5 line, which includes the SRPD51, which retains some of the SKX's charm and design language, but with scaled back specs to accommodate the price point, while also distinguishing itself from Seiko's hardcore dive watch efforts in the Prospect series. Is the SKX being replaced by these new Seiko 5s? No, that's probably a better name for the turtle's current incarnation. However, with an automatic 4R36 movement, solid construction, and excellent loom, the SRPD51 is a worthy sports timepiece at an affordable price. So let's look at some of its design features. It has a case size of 42.5 millimeters and a thickness of 13 millimeters. We're looking at a lug to lug of 46 millimeters and a lug width of 22 millimeters. It has an automatic Seiko 4R36 movement and a hard lex crystal with a water resistance of up to 100 meters. And to top it all off, it has a nice price tag of about $295. Next up is number 9, the SPB-155. Following its release, enthusiasts quickly labeled the SPB-155 as a baby alpinist. The 155 distinguishes itself from the larger SPB-121 and its predecessor, the SARB-017, by lacking crown guards and having that signature secondary crown. It also has a dial that is similar to the larger SPB-121 and SARB-017. In comparison to the glossier production of the 121, the 155 dial appears to be a little more refined in its textural execution. It also has a solid three-link bracelet and a case that is 1.5 millimeters smaller than the 121, measuring 38 millimeters, giving it an early Rolex Explorer vibe and making it a good daily diver option. For the design features on this watch, it has a case size of 38 millimeters and a thickness of 12.9 millimeters. So lug to lug, we're looking at 46 millimeters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. It has an Auto Seiko 4R35 movement and a sapphire crystal that can withstand a water resistance of up to 200 meters. For this watch, you're looking at a price of about $725. Moving swiftly along to number 8, the SRPF53. Presage Collection responds to the needs of professionals who need to look their best in less physically demanding situations. The collection features a variety of elegant pieces as well as everyday wearers that have become fan favorites. The SRP F53 is slightly larger than the SRP F41, so it should fit larger wrists much better. The SRP F53 exudes a dressier sensibility, aided by its alternating brushed and polished five link steel bracelets. Dial differences also play a significant role in how the two models effectively wear. 
the SRPF53 is also only $45 more expensive than the SRPF41. And given the well-made bracelet and in particular the sapphire crystal upgrade over the SRPF41's Hardlex crystal, the SRPF53 offers a lot to like as another refined yet affordable Seiko offering. Taking a look at its design features, it has a case size of 41.7 millimeters and a thickness of 11.8 millimeters. We're looking at a lug to lug of 47.7 millimeters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. It also has an Auto Seiko 4R35 movement and a sapphire crystal with a water resistance of 30 meters. So you can aim to pay about $525 for this watch. Hopping over to number seven, the Presage Cocktail Time Negroni Reference SARY163. So the Presage Cocktail Time Negroni SARY163 just might be the next best thing. In the Cocktail Time lineup, Seiko collaborated with Shinobu Ishigaki to produce a design that was inspired by glitzy cocktail lounges. The classic size design is becoming more dressy. This thinner case profile is suitable for all wrist sizes. The stainless steel case has a highly polished finish and slender lugs, giving it an attractive appearance. The lovely sunburst burgundy red dial is inspired by a favorite Italian cocktail and features a fantastic Japanese Asanoha pattern. It appears to be wonderful from several perspectives. The hands are dauphine in design, with Arabic numerals and baton indexes as markers. So some design features. We're looking at a case size of 38.5 millimeters and a thickness of 11.8 millimeters. It also has a lug to lug of 45.4 millimeters. Its self-winding mechanism movement allows for up to 40 hours of power reserve. Its dial is protected by a hard lex crystal which has a box type of glass and this can withstand a water resistance of 50 meters. So all in all, you're looking at a price of roughly $398. Coming in at number 6, the Prospex Alpinist Cream Gilt Reference SBD C09. The Alpinist was first released in 1961 and it was inspired by Yama Otoko. Because Japan is mostly covered in mountains, many people spend their free time doing mountain activities. To meet the needs of mountain climbers and sports enthusiasts, a variety of tools, including wristwatches, are acquired. And one of these outcomes is the Prospex Alpinist. It has a cream white dial with gold accents and an Alpinist baton. The bracelet itself is made of leather in a striking forest green color. The 6R35, which runs at 21,600 BPH, powers the timepiece. The power reserve has been increased to 70 hours, up from 50 hours in the previous series. So for every explorer like you, this is one of the best Seiko watches. Zooming in on its design features, it has a case size of 39.5 millimeters and a thickness of 13 millimeters. We're looking at a lug to lug of 48 millimeters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. And with its Seiko Automatic Caliber 6R35, you can gain a power reserve of 70 hours. Its beautiful dial is protected by an anti-reflective sapphire crystal, which allows a water resistance of up to 200 meters. So for this beauty, you're looking at a price of roughly $607. Ticking away with number five, the Seiko 5 Automatic SNK795. 
Due to its classic stainless steel look and simple analog dial, the Seiko SNK795 watch goes very well with a variety of outfits and suits a variety of occasions. The watch's bold and luminous hour markers and hands sit in front of a contrasting black dial, making it extremely legible. The sweeping seconds hand has also been painted red, which looks really nice and makes it easier to capture when needed. Because the caliber does not allow for hacking or hand winding, it is somewhat limited in comparison to other movements. The 7S26 movement, on the other hand, is known for keeping accurate time and rarely disappoints. It has a hard lex crystal, a stainless steel case, and a three link metal bracelet. The Seiko SNK795 can withstand a lot of knocks and hits, even the automatic movement is equipped with an anti-shock system that cushions the impact on the vital components. So when we examine the design features, you're looking at a case size of 37 millimeters and a thickness of 11 millimeters. We have a lug to lug of 43 millimeters and a lug width of 18 millimeters. The 7S26 movement allows up to 40 hours of power reserve. So for this watch, you're aiming for a price range of roughly $95 to about $140. Bouncing over to number 4, the Seiko SSB301 Blue Chronograph Watch. The Seiko SSB301 is not one of those watches that stays true to its classy appeal, with a small amount of flair adding elements. The chronograph ticker features a stylish dial with multi-layered texture and vibrant blue and yellow tones. The SSB301 is larger than most Seiko watches in terms of size. As a result, make sure your wrists can handle the larger than average dimensions. You can expect a very accurate stopwatch feature on the main counter that measures in one-fifth second increments when it comes to the functionality of the Seiko. In addition, the 24-hour subdial, which has a half-circle counter and two different watch hands indicating the hours, has been given a fine touch. Overall, for a few hundred dollars, the Seiko SSB301 provides a lot of features, as well as durability and most importantly, a very fashionable aesthetic that leaves no one cold. Taking a look at its design features, it has a case size of 44 millimeters, a thickness of 12 millimeters, and a lug width of 22 millimeters. This watch is known for its quartz chronograph movement and is protected by a hard lex crystal, which can withstand a water resistance of up to 100 meters. And it's not really that badly priced. You're looking at about $140. And on to number three, the Seiko Kachira Radio Sync SSG019. If the gold and silver Kachira with a black face isn't your cup of tea, the Seiko Kachira SSG019 is a good alternative. The watch stands out with its patterned sky blue dial, which is packed with useful features for frequent travelers. The Seiko Kachira is atomically accurate almost everywhere in the world. Furthermore, the watch charges itself from any light source and does not require any battery replacements. Due to the presence of a sapphire crystal and a very sturdy stainless steel case and bracelet, you can expect this Seiko to remain unharmed even in extreme conditions. Looking at its design features, it has a case size of 45 millimeters and a thickness of 12.5 millimeters. And you're also looking at a lug width of 26 millimeters. Now this sturdy watch has a solar quartz movement, so power is never an issue, since it has a power reserve of approximately 6 months. Its dial is protected by a sapphire crystal that can withstand a water resistance of up to 100 meters. And it's really not that badly priced, 
as you're looking at a price of roughly $595. Getting closer to the top with the number two, the Seiko SRPB 41J1 Analog Automatic Men's Watch. This watch is well known for being a dependable workhorse that keeps on ticking year after year. However, Seiko has added a new gold-plated rotor to this movement to give it a more elegant appearance. And this was a very smart move by Seiko because otherwise the movement would appear to be too industrialized and tool-like which would clash with the watch's overall design. The watch features a beautiful blue dial with an eye-catching pattern that reflects light beautifully. And it's especially gorgeous when the sun shines on it. The dial is dark blue with a fumé fading design, meaning that the blue is brighter in the center and fades to a dark blue towards the edges. White seconds markers are printed on the dial's outer edges. The light dances and makes this watch incredible to look at thanks to the deep pattern that starts in the center of the dial and stretches out to the edges. Even if you don't want to buy it for anything else, the dial alone is really worth it. So what are the design features? Well, you're looking at a case size of 40.5 millimeters and a thickness of 11.8 millimeters. It has a lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. Its Seiko Caliber 4R35 movement allows up to 41 hours of power reserve. A hard lex crystal covers and protects this beautiful dial, which can withstand a water resistance of up to 50. 50 meters. So for this incredible timepiece, you're looking at a price of roughly $385. And the moment you've been waiting for, number one, the Seiko Samurai. The Samurai is one of the first models that come to mind when thinking of the Seiko Prospect series as an entry point. The Samurai was first released in Seiko's catalog in 2004 and it quickly became a hit. Because the line's strongly pointed hands and markers on the dial closely resemble those of a samurai sword, this collection was given the fan-created moniker of Samurai. When it comes to dial colors, the collection offers a wide range of options, such as the srpb 51 simple dial tone, the SRPC-07's bold orange, or the one-of-a-kind SRPC-93 Save the Ocean model, which I adore. And taking a look at some of the design features, for the design features, we are looking at references SRPC93, SRPC07, SRPB49, SRPB51, SRPB53, and SRPB55. And all of these have a case size of 44 millimeters, a thickness of 13 millimeters, and a lug width of 22 millimeters. Its in-house Auto Seiko 4R35 movement allows up to 41 hours of power reserve. Its dial is covered and protected by its hard lex crystal that can withstand a water resistance of up to 200 meters. And for this unique watch, you're looking at a price range of about $400 to about $500. So this concludes the top 10 Seiko watches. I've included a link to these watches in the description, as well as many of the Seiko watches listed here. Let me know in the comments which one piqued your interest the most. Subscribe to this channel and be notified of any new videos coming out. Take advantage of your time and keep in mind that it is your most valuable asset.